three ways to celebrate National Crayon Day at school. Happy National Crayon Day. It is um, celebrated on March 31st. So we're doing it a little bit ahead of time so that you know what to do on March 31st. Hey there, I'm Charlotte with Colorful Teaching for You. Thank you so much for joining me. And now National Crayon Day really celebrates the creation of crayons, but also a love of coloring. This day is generally associated with young children, but honestly, adults love to color too. So let's take up our crayons and actually color alongside our kids so that we all enjoy this. In fact, look at this as an endless possibility day of artistic creation. Okay, now we are going, I'm going to keep this short because I want you to get started on planning for your class right away. So we're going to look at three different ways that you can engage your children in uh, National Crayon Day. Number one is reuse. So what you're going to do is have your kids bring in all of the different crayons that they have that are broken or they're not using or they just don't like. Put them in this big Ziploc bag and then all of you can make a, f a field show of it and go and donate these art, these as art supplies to maybe a school or a different community where children are in need of um, crayons and they don't have enough. So it, you could, you know, the reusing is they're taking what they already have used and they don't want and they're donating it for, to a worthy cause. Okay, that's one possibility. Number two is now we're getting a little bit more into the artistic aspect is murals. So you're going to create murals. What I mean by this is take a huge piece of bulletin board paper, lay it down and have your kids create something beautiful artistic with their crayons. Now if you want it to look a little more cohesive, what I'd recommend doing is actually brainstorming ideas with your kids and assigning specific tasks. But if they're really young and you don't care about that, you just want it to be fun, then just, I mean it's fun either way, but if you just want it to be creative then let them let, let them have at it then take that and put it out on your bulletin boards for others to actually enjoy the, their um, work of art number three is secret messages i absolutely love this where you are going to take a white sheet of paper and you're going to have your children take a white crayon now get them to write a beautiful you're going to pair them up with different students okay you do it because you don't want kids left out and have them write a secret um sweet, kind, or uh, maybe generous or gentle message to their partner that you pair them up with. Now, if they're really young, I highly recommend having them plan ahead of time what they want to write and you get to see that. And then after that, they can write on this white page. Remind them to press really hard because it's not going to show and they're not going to know right away. So they've got to press down really hard as they write their message. Once they're done writing their message, they're going to give it to their partner or exchange it with their partners. When all of the when all of the uh, groups have exchanged, then you're going to take a paintbrush with some watercolors, and each child is going to paint on that that page, so that as they paint on the page, the actual watercolors will very naturally resist the um, the crayon, the white crayon, and while the rest of the paper is full of watercolors, the actual um, message will pop up. You'll be able to see the message because the watercolor resists the white crayon. So it's a, it's a really fun message and then a really fun way of um, encouraging creativity and kindness and then you can just wait for it to dry and they can take it home and perhaps post it somewhere because it's a nice message about them. All right, this is the three different ways that you can celebrate National um, Crayon Day. You, in fact, do all of them. It'll be so much fun make a day of it. <laughs> and so let's recap really quickly what we talked about. We've looked at um, what National Crayon Day is about and we've looked at three different ways that you can engage in it. So number one is reuse, number two is murals, and number three is secret messages. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me a message. In the meantime, remember to create, experience, and teach from the heart. I will see you again, same place, same time next week. Take care, my friends. Bye.